Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got the, my uh, PlayStation 4, really PlayStation, Sony, Buyer's Guide for the holiday season. It's going to be a quick video. I'm going to share some of my favorite accessories and games for the PlayStation 4. Let's get started. So now, look, just don't get a PS4 Slim. Don't get a regular PS4. Don't get the old model. Just get the Pro. It's absolutely worth it. I've got mine right here, my launch model PS4 Pro. I had an original PS4, and it it was noisy, it was underperforming, and when I got this bad boy, especially play, uh, paired with the PSVR, changed everything. It plays in 4K, even if you do not have a 4K TV, it'll still look so good on a 1080p. It'll look even better than the original PlayStation 4. I absolutely love this. It's got a great design. It, it's phenomenal. I can't speak highly enough. Just get the PlayStation 4. Hopefully, you took advantage of GameStop's Black Friday deal for the Glacier White one. That was uh, pretty cheap. I believe it was $2.99. I think they're still on sale, and I'll see uh, what the best price below linked below uh, it's not sponsored by any way. This is a small channel. Nothing is sponsored here. These are just my personal favorites that I have in my collection that I use on a daily basis. So I'll see if uh, I can find a PS4 Pro at a pretty reasonable price, and I'll link it down below. Next, an accessory that you need to must-have if you own a PlayStation, regardless of a PS4 Pro or PS4 Slim, regular PS4, you need one of these hard drives. This is a 2 terabyte. Uh, the PS4 Pro comes stock with a 1 terabyte. Standard. Uh, I think the Slim comes with a 500 gigabyte, but you're going to need one of these. I'll, I'll link below. This is a Seagate. It's really great. It's trusted. You can use any external hard drive. This is a great external hard drive. This is two terabyte. I would recommend nothing more or nothing less than two terabytes because what's great about the PlayStation Store is they have a lot of digital games on sale all the time. So you're going to be filling up your hard drive. You know, pretty quickly, especially with game updates as well. If you have a PS4 Pro, there's a patch to enable 4K and HDR in it. So, uh, for those games, so the games, uh, this is a really, really great buy, a must-have. And I've got my trusted Turtle Beach noise canceling headphones here. These plug directly in the PlayStation 4. They're Bluetooth. You can use Bluetooth. I don't like using Bluetooth. I use. I love using wired headphones but truth be told you can get away with a cheap pair of earbuds and it'll sound great if you want just you know isolation plug them in the actual controller has a headphone jack that you can directly put into the playstation controller it's awesome highly recommend it i'll link these if they're still available they're really great they're really affordable if they're still available they're my favorite headphones now this thing Bam, the PlayStation VR. This is, and this is a Power 8 case uh, for it too, but this is one of my favorite gaming peripherals for the PlayStation. There's incredible games. I think for the entry price for VR, this is the best headset you can get. It's super comfortable. I wear glasses sometimes too, so they're the only VR headset that you can actually wear your glasses with, and it fits really comfortably. Um, it's not wireless. You have to use that... That box that it comes with the plug-in PS4, uh, but it works incredibly well with the PS4 Pro. I love this headset, and it's got some amazing game. It's completely immersive, and you can get it for pretty cheap now. See, here's my headset right now. Um, I absolutely love this thing. It's built really well. It's incredibly comfortable. The only thing cumbers cumbersome is the cords and the little box that you have to put in with it. I bet the next generation with the PlayStation 5 is going to be wireless, and it's going to be awesome. But what's great about this, if you're going to the PlayStation 5, everything from the PS4 uh, uh, is going to be compatible with the PlayStation 5, which is nice. So they already confirmed that PlayStation VR is going to be compatible with PlayStation 5. So it's going to be great. And I hope they actually will take advantage and just build something within the PS4, or excuse me, PS5, and we'll uh, just upscale new VR games using this headset. So that would be awesome. Um, speaking of pl uh, PlayStation VR, I'm going to list some of my favorites right here. Um, this was on sale, actually, Black Friday. I love this game from PlayStation VR, Concrete Genie. 
Uh, Blood and Truth is a great game for the PlayStation VR. Um, here is a great one also I got on Black Friday. Uh, everybody's Golf. This is such a fun golf game. You actually feel like you're golfing. It's great. Uh, and then here's a rare one if you can get it at your local GameStop. This is actually really rare. Is a physical edition of Job Simulator. This is so much fun. It's such ridiculous fun. It's great in VR. Um, I also want to mention a couple games that have uh, are playable in VR. Now, one of them is Wipeout, the collection. This is phenomenal in VR. It's so awesome. And also the PlayStation exclusive uh, Grand Turismo Sport right here is also playable in VR. These are great games. Uh, they're really great racing simulator games. Wipeout's a futuristic one, and Gran Turismo's just a uh, uh, regular car racing game, which is great. Um, if you are a fan of From Software, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, they made a great PlayStation VR game called Darison right here. The camera's picking it up. Um, it's a story-driven game. It's phenomenal. I highly recommend it if you're a fan of From Soft. If you're a fan of Skyrim, they actually made an awesome, awesome port of Skyrim for the VR, and it's called Skyrim VR. Now, this was on sale on Black Friday for 20 bucks. I hope you guys took advantage of it. If you didn't, I'll link below uh, if there's some deals for these games. Also, here's an exclusive. This is called The Inpatient. It's actually a prequel to Until Dawn made by um, uh, Supermassive Games. It's really awesome. I love this game. It's really great. I highly recommend it. Astrobot VR, everyone's favorite VR game on the PlayStation. Number one, everyone says it's the best. Um, it's I would say Resident Evil 7 is my favorite right here, VR game. Now, this has a PSVR mode, so but I highly recommend Resident Evil 7. This is my favorite VR game. It's scary as heck. I absolutely love it. Um, Tetris Effect is a great, great PlayStation VR game. Tetris in VR, literally. It's awesome. Uh, Creed Rise to Glory. Uh, if you're a fan of Rocky, this is an awesome boxing game. It, it feels like it really is like a boxing game. It's a first-person boxing game, and um, it's got it's got great uh, character models. It's got great movement, and it's got uh, the update now has uh, the new uh, some new um, of Rocky's old foes, and it's really really cool. And then the last two I've got is Moss for PlayStation VR, which is a phenomenal game platformer and arkham vr if you want to ever if you ever wanted to be batman this is the game you basically are batman in this game and you're a detective and you're i don't want to spoil it but it's a great story driven game where you are batman solving uh a crime let's put it that way i don't want to give it away i want to give the plot away uh let's start with some third party playstation uh games that are, playstation 4 games that i love resident evil 2 incredible Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, if you are a fan of From Software, Dark Souls, Demon Souls, that's an incredible game. I highly recommend it. Uh, now on to the exclusive. Last of Us uh, Remastered. Um, I actually have a digital edition of that, but I highly recommend that game, especially before The Last of Us Part 2 comes out. PS4 exclusive, Horizon Zero Dawn. Awesome game. Death Stranding, a PlayStation 4 timed exclusive. It'll be on PC. Uh, next year highly recommend that a lot of people say it's a walking simulator i disagree but if you are into story driven games and uh auteur type games even films i would highly recommend that my favorite game for the playstation 4 is persona 5 and they are coming out with persona 5 the uh, royal edition in uh at the end of march i would highly recommend this game it is so much fun you actually it's really cheap now. You can get that game, and I highly recommend it. You can play it over Christmas break, and it's awesome. Um, and then I would jump and get the Royal Edition because they're adding so much to that game. Um, and the last few games are God of War. Enough said. Everyone loves God of War. It is a great third-person action game. It really revitalized um, God of War. Detroit Become Human, which is a great game. Um, I believe it's now on PC, but it was a PS4 chimed exclusive. It's an awesome game. Um, and, uh, Days Gone, I really love this game. I really love Days Gone, especially with the updates and the patches they've made. Um, it really got shellacked and unfairly maligned, and it really is a really good third-person, story-driven action game. 
um, in the veins of Horizon Zero Dawn and Uncharted. I highly recommend it. Um, it was on sale for Black Friday for 20 bucks. I think it's still on sale. My second favorite PlayStation 5, uh, 4 game is Bloodborne. This is an amazing game. If you're a fan of uh, From Software, Sekiro, Dark Souls, I highly recommend this PlayStation exclusive. I actually, I don't know if I like it more than Sekiro, but I love the cosmic horror, uh, the gothic horror spin to this. Um, it's really challenging, though. If you don't like hard games, don't play it. You know, if you don't like hard games, don't buy Sekiro either. But if you enjoy a challenging action RPG, this is awesome. And the last couple I have right here is... Uh, uh, Until Dawn, which I talked about, uh, the prequel, The Impatient, but this is a great horror game. I highly recommend it. It's super fun. It's awesome story-driven game. Rami Malek and Hayden Penetieri are actually in that game, and it's awesome. And the last but not least, Uncharted 4, a great, great send-off to the franchise. They also have the Uncharted collection. I have that as well. If you haven't played Uncharted 1, 2, and 3, get that, then play Uncharted 4. It's a great send-off, a great game. The last thing I want to talk about is an extra controller. I got a white one. I actually have two extra controllers, so I have three total. These are the best controllers, hands down. Um, you can use these on your PC to play PC games. They're, they're, I love these more than Xbox controllers. They just feel incredibly great in your hands, uh, very ergonomic, and they're, they're the best controllers. That's it, hands down. And you always need an extra one if you have uh, a PlayStation, especially with two players. Um, and then right down here, you'll see the microphone jack right here. You can insert any um, headphones in there, and it's awesome. I also want to say if you have a PlayStation controller, you'll want to get something like a charger. This is a Nyko charger. I'll link this below. It's really cheap, but it's really great. It charges the PlayStation controller relatively well. Sits in here. You put an attachment right there. Flip it there and it just charges and it's awesome i highly recommend you need a charger if you have an extra controller i would recommend getting two of them for two controllers but some of them they have doubles um but this was my playstation 4 holiday buyer's guide let me know what you think if there's any other accessories or anything for the playstation 4 any game recommendations you have please let me know in the comments below i appreciate you so much please if you like this video subscribe like comment greatly appreciate it See you on the next one. Take care.